Hi, I'm Teresa Suter, and I'm the Community Relations Coordinator at Richland Soil and Water Conservation District. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a milkweed seed bomb. Before I do that, though, I just want to say a few words about milkweed and native plants. We've chosen milkweed for our seed bombs because milkweed is the host plant for monarch butterflies. Monarchs are in serious decline and planting milkweed will help increase their population. There are a variety of milkweed species, nat species native to Ohio, with one of them being common milkweed. Common milkweed is what we're using in our seed bombs today. Every fall, we partner with the Ohio Pollinator Habitat Initiative to serve as a collection point for Richland County residents to drop off their common milkweed seed pods. This year, the collection will take place from October 1st to November 5th, and we hope you'll join in the collection. Over the winter, the seeds are removed from the pods, packaged with planting instructions, and given away to be planted. Using native plants in your landscape is beneficial because they do well in our area and don't require a lot of maintenance or extra water. Since they have stronger root systems, they help prevent soil erosion and reduce stormwater runoff. They also look great and attract pollinators like monarch butterflies. So let's get started on how you can make your milkweed seed bombs. Here are the supplies you'll need. Air clay, a paper plate with your milkweed seeds, vermiculite, and potting soil, and a paper bag. And it can be any paper bag like this one. To make your bomb, go ahead and take your clay and flatten it out. Mix your vermiculite and potting soil. Press the clay in the potting soil mixture. And go ahead and mix that up. When you think you've got it mixed up, flatten your clay again, and this time go ahead and press your clay into the milkweed seeds. And so once you've done that, go ahead and mix that up again too. and shape it into a ball, and now you have your seed bomb. We're not quite done yet though, because this is a little bit wet. So we want to go ahead and put this in our paper bag. And put that in a cool, dry uh, place where it won't get direct sunlight because you don't want the seeds to germinate. So once it's dry, go ahead and take it out of its bag and put it in an area with plenty of sunlight and well-drained soil and watch for your monarch butterflies. If you have questions about pollinators or services Richland Soil and Water Conservation District provides, please call us or contact us through our website or social media. Thank you for joining me today.